Oh, what's going on guys? Uh, this is Nick again. Um, doing a quick review on uh, Emberlit stove. It's a lightweight uh, titanium stove that you can take out backpacking. Um, it weighs six ounces. Exactly. I weighed it on the old digital uh, scale. I bring it around if um, you know, I'm in going into a place where there's a fire restriction on open fires, which if you read into the rules, it says you're allowed to use a stove. Mm. Well, it's called the Emberlet stove, so uh, that's how I'm using it. So, anyways, I just wanted to throw it together. I've used it a couple times already, so you can kind of tell the titanium's all discolored. Uh, it's about 35 degrees out right now. It works really well off just some sticks and stuff. I'm going to get it going and get some, uh, see if we can get a, uh, some water blown Plenty of ventilation in it. Um, it's made out of full titanium, so the thing is super light. It's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to use some, we got some stormproof matches that I'm not going to use. This is just a bag that I keep in my pack. It's got that, those, it's got um, some trioxane. It's got, uh, this is what I'm gonna use today, just to try it out with this. And it's got your tried and true uh, flint and steel spark. Um, whoops. There you go. But, and here. And I just rip off a piece. This is just some uh, dryer lint that I mixed in with some Vaseline. It works all right. Actually, it works really well for something that's almost free. So I like it. And it works in windy, wet conditions. It's got, I mean, this thing is full of, it's pretty nasty. It's like a hairball. It's full of dog hair. It's full of all sorts of gross things. But it works. So I'm just going to stick that in there. I've never actually used this stove with the Vaseline cotton ball dryer method and uh, the flint and steel. So let's see how it works. I don't know if it's going to work easier to go in through the, uh, the wood where you put the wood in or if it's going to be easier to send a spark to the top. But I'm just going to try it like this first. Oh, oh, oh. Well, not having any luck yet. I'm trying to do the top here. There we go. Took a bit, took a little bit of effort to get it going. It's cold out. Basically the way that it works is you just you keep feeding feeding little twigs and stuff in through this little chute here. And you can you can put long ones in there if you want, and then as they burn you can just push them in. That works too. I've done that before. But it's got so much ventilation that, I mean, you can... You can really get some good oxygen to it. And I know this isn't like a... A real infield review, so to speak, but it is in cold temperature, and it is with just some twigs and shit that I picked up off the ground while I was raking the yard. Before, so. before I go away, let me show you what we're working with here. Let me just set this over here. 
That's another cool thing about this. You can just like pick it up, pick it, move your fire out of the way. It's awesome. Okay, so this is my cooking wire. I just put it in this little uh, stuff sack here, upside down. It comes with this, uh, it's a uh, Tokes titanium cookware. It comes with this cap here for the big, uh, the big pot, and then it turns into a little frying pan, which is awesome. It works great with uh, my going the wrong way. Dur, 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 dur. It works great with my, uh, oh my god, my pocket rocket. And this is my spice torpedo. Yes, I do bring it with me whenever I go camping because it's awesome to have a nice variety of um, spices for your food. So, yes, I like to be comfortable. I like to have tasty food. And this is it. This holds six different spices, uh, whichever you want. It splits up in three different sections. I can go over that some other time if anyone's interested. This is why I put my pocket rocket in this. Um, I got these Jet Royal uh, ex extendable little plasticware that has held up really well. And it breaks down really small. So it weighs on the thing. Alright, so we got three cups of water here that we're going to stick in. We're going to see how she does. And just so you know, this is what I'm working with over here. Sticking these fire, these little twigs and stuff in. As they burn, you can just stick them in a little farther. And this is what we're working with. And the flame we got. Just off some uh, yard twigs. So to keep the heat going, and oh, by the way, that's the time. Okay. No, this isn't like a MSR pocket rocket, so I mean it's gonna take a bit longer to boil. While we're waiting for this to boil, which actually it's heat up pretty quick, so I don't think it's gonna take that long. Let me show you what I'm sitting on here. I'm sitting on this Cabela's chair. Check this out. This thing, it's a really lightweight chair. Um, I wrote it on the pack how much it weighs. A buddy of mine got it for me. It was probably around 20 bucks. Really cheap, really simple. You can see it here. It's this little tripod chair. It's got a little pocket here, which is nice. I think people mostly use it for fishing and stuff. But man, it's, it's really comfortable. It's not bad at all. Um, I brought it with, my girlfriend and I brought it with, uh, this past weekend, for her to sit on. I use this, uh, sorry, I just had to keep the, uh, stove going. It's definitely a high-maintenance stove. I ain't gonna lie about that. Because you're using twigs and shit, you know. You gotta just keep the stove. Anyways, usually what I use is this, uh... Oh man, that smoke is brutal. Helinox chair here. Oh um, my god, didn't I have a piece of paper? I had a piece of paper that showed the weight difference, but I already know. Just, I wrote it on this, with this pack here. This is the Cabela's pack. And you can kind of get an idea of the size difference here. Cabela's packs down way thinner. This packs down way uh, a little bit thicker, but 
This is an awesome chair, by the way. Um, we got two pounds, 0 0.09 ounces. That's what it measures. Whoop. Oh, thought we were boiling for a second. Um, the Helinox chair measures two pounds, zero, point zero four ounces. Or, I'm sorry. This chair is two pounds, point nine ounces. And this is two pounds, point four ounces. So this is a little bit lighter, not much, but the benefit to this is that you get a back, and that's huge. Um, at least it's huge for me. When after you know I'm done hiking, you know for a long day of hiking, I just wanna I wanna sit back and relax, and this chair kicks ass. So what I what would I choose over the two? Well, I mean. <laughs> This Cabela's chair is about less than half the price, so super cheap, uh, totally awesome for what it is. I mean, it's about 20 bucks. This thing is about, oh man, I can't remember. I think it's 70 bucks maybe, um, but it does have a back. Hold on, gotta get to this. Oof, you gotta close your eyes when you're blown on this bad boy. Dude, it's got a, a nice bed of coals up in there. Got the flames coming out the side of it now. Awesome. It is raging right now. It's a fucking rager. It's like a flamethrower when you actually keep going. When you get it going good. Oh, we got heavy boil going on now. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get it with the cell phone. Get a plate on it. So we got a heavy boil going on. Probably. Mm, it's about what is it? Eighteen. Seven minutes. Cause right now it's. Let me see with the cell phone. Eight twenty-five. God damn it. Let's see if I can get a flashlight in on this. You guys can see it a little better. It's hard to see with all the steam. But we've got a heavy roll rolling boil going on. <laughs> In about, I would say six minutes. Six minutes, dudes. Six minutes with, with twigs from the yard. Um, and all it requires is a little bit of blowing, and dudes, it's putting off some good heat. I don't know if I should, I might roll in some, uh, footage of how much, how hot it is, how far away from the stove. I think that's kind of cool. I think some dudes might be interested in that. Just a couple, a couple more sticks up in here. Just like that, like up in there. Whoops. Light blowing. I mean, it's got a awesome one. Cool one. Awesome thing about this stove is all these little holes right here. Once you get a good bed of coals going, these holes help to keep those coals red hot. So when you put a stick in there, it's gonna need a little help. You're going to have to put it in there and you're going to have to give it a little puff. But you got such an awesome bed of coals going on that it's easy. There's so much heat in there. I mean, look at that. Easy. Doesn't take much and then you get it going. And I mean, we're boiling some serious water here. It's freaking awesome, dude. Awesome! Emberlit stove, made in the USA. Uh, I think the titanium version cost around 100 bucks. Mm, is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. 
I think it's awesome. I think it's really lightweight. Uh, if you're, like I say, if you're going someplace and you just need, I mean, a pocket rocket's awesome. You're going to boil some water, boom, just like that. But if you really want to heat up and get a nice, um, a nice uh, area of heat so you can stick your feet next to it and heat your hands up and your toes and then jump in your sleeping bag, uh, this is totally cool. Um, and if you don't have a pocket rocket or you don't want something like that and you want to keep it simple, uh, this is always, this is not going to fail you ever. I mean, it's made out of titanium. It's going to last a long time, if not forever. So, I think they make another version of it in aluminum, or no, I think it's steel. I think they make it in steel, which I think it's almost twice as heavy. Same, same design, just heavier uh, and it costs maybe thirty dollars less so kind of considerably considerably cheaper um, but I think it'd be totally worth it to get uh, the titanium version look at that flames just getting it getting it it is getting it right now haven't even been blown on it it's good enough to put some heat off anyway uh, my thermometer is saying it's just below 50 degrees now that the flame's out and the coal base is dying down. It's something that you're going to have to stoke constantly, but dude, you're stoking it with sticks and little tiny twigs and stuff, so just have a, I mean, it's really easy to get a pile of twigs and just keep shoving them in there. That's it. So anyways, this is Nick. I'm getting out of here. It's, uh getting late gotta eat some dinner get up in the morning go to work but this stove is awesome i'd recommend it later peace out